गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम एंड यू आर आल्सो डूइंग योर स्टडीज वेल डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप एवरीबडी हैव परचेज द बुक्स सो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट द वर्क इन योर फेयर नोटबुक यू हैव टू मेंटेन योर नोटबुक एंड जस्ट सेंड द पिक टू मी आफ्टर ईच एंड एवरी यूनिट सो दैट आई कैन गिव द मार्क्स ऑफ योर नोटबुक असेसमेंट ऑल्सो ओके so please do the work in good hand and follow the norms of rishi kulian that after each and every sum you have to draw a line with pencil notebook must be look in a ideal way clear and i hope side by side your revision is also going on you have done the revision of exercise 1.1 today we are going to just do revision of exercise 1.2 in this exercise representation of rational number on number line and to find the rational number between two numbers is to be there first of all how to just take rational number or any number on number line yes you know very well you have already done the number line the line is to be drawn this positive side is known as just your natural number if we include zero in natural number this line is to be known as whole number line if we will take negative on the left side this is to be known as the whole integers line now we have to represent the rational number on number line then for representing rational number on number line it may be just to be some denominator is to be given so we will part divide the whole number in same sub parts so that the each part is to be considerations and accordingly we can just locate which is required as we are going to just do the location of the point 3 by 4 if we have to just draw the point 3 by 4 on number line what we will just do we generally take zero on center the positive value on the right side while the negative value on the left side so zero is not only we just write zero we can write zero as zero by 4 also so on equal gap we write the next number that is 1 by 4 next is 2 by 4 after that next is 3 by 4 next is 4 by 4 that is equal to 1 in the same way we just represent the number on negative direction also that 0 by 4 then on left side it will gives you minus 1 by 4 minus 2 by 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 4 by 4 that is minus 1 now we have to just locate 3 by 4 just see where the position of 3 by 4 put a small dot it and show by an circle give any name so write a represent 3 by 4 so in this way you are just be able to represent any number on number line if it is to be asked where it is lie so you can easily see where it lies you can write also it lies between lies between which number 0 and 1 okay in which number this number lies you can just plot also you can easily see also and you can easily reply also i think the things are clear to you now as you are a purchased book also just so just go through the reading part also as well as just try to example also now first of all i am going to explain find any rational number between two rational number you know very well between two numbers infinite number of rational number lies between two numbers infinite numbers of rational numbers lie so he may ask to just tell two rational number he may ask three rational number or he may ask any numbers means five ten it's up to you okay he as much is to be asked so that much you have to reply as in this question write any 10 rational number between minus 5 by 6 and 5 by 8 we have to just tell how 
टेन रैशनल नंबर बिटवीन दीज टू नंबर फर्स्ट वे ऑलरेडी आई टोल इन फर्स्ट वीडियो विच वेन आई एक्सप्लेन द यूनिट दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड द रैशनल नंबर बिटवीन टू नंबर बाय एडिशन ऑफ टू नंबर दैट इज ए इफ फर्स्ट नंबर बी इज सेकेंड नंबर डू द एडिशन ऑफ दीज टू नंबर एंड डिवाइड बाय टू मीन्स फर्स्ट नंबर इज ए प्लस बी बाय टू ओके इन द सेक इन द सेम वे द सेकेंड नंबर इज टू बी जस्ट फाइंड आउट बाय टेक वन स्टेटमेंट विद द फर्स्ट आंसर इन द सेम वे एज मच इज टू बी रिक्वायर्ड दैट मज एनी टू नंबर यू कैन टेक अगेन फॉलो द सेम दैट इज ए प्लस बी बाय टू यू आर एबल टू फाइंड एज मच रिक्वायर्ड नंबर बट द शॉर्ट मैथड ऑल्सो आई हैव टोल्ड बट वॉज दैट मैथड इन दैट मैथड वट वो यूज टू डू वो यू मेक द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ बोथ द स्टेटमेंट्स इक्वल सेम बाई चिकिंग एल्सियम वेन वी जस्ट मेक द एल्सियम सेम देन वी राइट द न्यू न्यूमिनेटर कॉरस्पॉन्डिंगली एंड इफ इन बिटवीन एनी दीज टू न्यूमिनेटर विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी फाइंड इफ द नंबर लाइज वी राइट द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग नंबर इफ इट इज टू बी नॉट लाइंग वी मल्टीप्लाई बो स्टेटमेंट्स न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाय कॉमन मल्टीपल सो दैट इन बिटवीन नंबर वी कैन राइट but we generally prefers to multiply it by either 10 100 1000 like this because the product with the zero 1 0 is very easy so we have to just simply add zero with the statement and we are able to write in between number as we are going to do in this sum the we have to find 10 rational number between minus 5 by 6 and minus and 5 by 8 just see for finding this one first of all first step that we have done we have just done the lcm of minus 5 by 6 and 5 by 8 minus 5 by 6 and 5 by 8 that lcm will be 24 lcm of 6 and 8 that is 24 now how to do the next step divide by the denominator answer which you are getting multiplied by numerator so we divide 24 by 6 and we are getting 4 6 fours are 24 4 so 4 is multiplied by 5 you will get minus 20 in the same way we multiply 24 by 8 and 8 we get 3 so 3 multiplied by 5 we get 15 so we got corresponding new numerator with the new denominator of the same statement means these statements are equivalent so we will get minus 20 by 24 15 by 24 so we have to write in between 10 rational number as is going to ask so we can just start with minus 19 don't write with minus 21 because minus 21 is not lies between these two we we have to just write the number between 15 to minus 20 okay it becomes smaller less than so it will become minus 19 by 24 minus 18 by 24 minus 17 by 24 0 1 by 24 i have written 5 here you can just write more 5 also i think you are able to write more 5 also as he has asked 10 the method is same the things are same already now you have to add the numbers clear clear now one more sum of we are going to do extra that is to be find the rational number between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5 2 by 3 and 3 by 5 again the same method but we will do we will find the lcm of 3 and 5 3 and 5 the lcm will be 15 so first step divide if we will divide we will get 5 5 to the 10 in the same way here if we will divide we will get 3 3 3 is a 9 so statement will be 10 upon 15 in or 9 upon 15 so we will write it as the smaller we are going to write on first one and the bigger we are going to write on the second term so it will become 9 upon 15 10 upon 15 it has no statement lies between these two so we have to multiply it by 10 in that first one example we have not done the multiplication because we are able to find 
already in between the statement when the situation is like this we are not able to find any statement between numerator so we take the multiplication step with the common multiple of to both the statements so that the denominator also remains same and we just be able to get the numerator in between both the numerators you may take 4 you may take 5 you may take 6 you may take 8 but the product with 10 is very easy so we generally take 10 so it will become 90 upon 150 100 upon 150 now 90 to 100 nine numbers are there there so we are able to write at least nine numbers so as he has cast write three rational number how many rational number three rational numbers so we can write 91 upon 150 92 upon 150 93 upon 150 I think the things are clear to you. 91 upon 150, 92, 93, denominator will be 150. I think now you know how to just draw any rational number or number line and how to find rational number between two numbers. The things I think are clear to you. So you have to revise the complete unit first. Do complete in your fair notebook as well do the revision also. Okay, bye students, bye bachcho.